Okay, so I did a video recently showing Android writing SD card images for a Raspberry Pi, and I thought I'd try my Chromebook doing the same sort of thing. Now, I bought this uh, about a year ago now from CEX for £135. It's one of the flippy Chromebooks, so you can do all of that. And amazing to think that I bought it second hand for 135 and it still works really well today, um, but also it's got a lot better because Chrome OS uh, had Linux added to it and also uh, since I've had it, the App Store has got a lot better. Um, so you can use proper Google Apps on this and uh, so you can do emulation and various things, but also you have uh, a Linux terminal so you can install apps and games through that Linux terminal and certain things work, certain things don't, but it, it has the same sort of effect uh, as you would have on a Pi. So let's switch over to screen capture and have a go. Okay, so screen capture works fine. So I'm using my external screen capture device and that works fine with this Chromebook. I'm not sure if I've, I've screen captured before with this Chromebook. Maybe I have in some of my videos. Uh, I've done a load of videos on this Chromebook. Uh, so some gaming, testing different game pads with it, uh, Xbox One wireless controller with it, uh, all sorts of things. And, uh, and I am really impressed with it. It's a decent device. Uh, so this is terminal uh, and you can see that there's various different things that I've played around with and tried to install. So when you use Linux on a Chromebook, uh, you get uh, basically a terminal icon. It creates a folder, um, and I won't go through to how to add Linux because there are loads of tutorials on how to add it, and it's actually very straightforward. You just have to enable it in the options. So you can see I've got a few things installed on here. I'm gonna go through another video of, of various things I've had a success with, um, but, uh, but you just click on terminal and it launches a terminal. But once it installs an app, it gets its own icon. So you can see there's various icons here. So if I click on disks, so this is GNOME disks. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It just comes up like this, select a device. So I had a look online at Raspberry Pi Imager and uh, I found a download for that. And uh, it was on the Raspberry Pi downloads page and it is for Ubuntu. This isn't running Ubuntu. It's some sort of version of Debian um, that runs on here, but uh, but let's have a look at the download that I've done. So downloads, there you go. So imager, install. Again, I don't know if this will work, but I figured I'd give it a try. I've got an SD card plugged in to a USB adapter, although this has a full size SD card slot on this Chromebook, so I could use that as well. So it's installing. Looks like everything's going okay, but I do find that Sometimes app is available in your terminal. There may also be an icon in your launcher. So I'm not going to launch it from there. I'm going to go down to the bottom and have a look in that folder. So this is my Linux apps folder. Yeah, Imogen. It's got the Raspberry Pi Imager symbol. Come on. And it looks like it's all right. Choose OS. Oh, so let's actually, let's try erasing the card first because that's something that'd be great on a Chromebook. So hit erase, uh, choose SD card. So I've got uh, nothing showing up. Oh, it was looking so good as well. So I'm just gonna unplug my USB because I figured it would, it would recognize that. Whoa, be careful. Uh, let's plug it in the other side and see if that makes a difference. Removal device detected. It will come up with some errors because it's got uh, Raspberry Pi OS on it already. Yeah, it's stumbling at that. Let's try choose an OS and see if that does it differently. 32-bit with a desktop. So it definitely doesn't detect an SD card in a USB card reader. Okay, so let's go to files and let's eject that SD card reader because although it detects it, it doesn't seem to come up in Raspberry Pi Imager. So that's safe to eject. I'm popping my micro SD card into a full size SD card adapter and then pop that in the side. Okay, so that detects it fine. So if you click on it, what does it do? Oh, yeah, it shows you various different, so the boot folder comes up. You might be able to overclock on a Chromebook as well. Where's config.txt? There's config.txt. Open with text. 
Oh, yeah, here we go. So I could. How do I save that? Save. Yeah, that looks like it saves. So I can overclock on a Chromebook as well. I hadn't thought of that. Right, anyway, so let's get back to the task in hand. So I now have it in the card reader. Choose SD card. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to have access to the card reader. Now that could be um, just the fact that we're so early on in the stage of Linux on a Chromebook. Start that up. Uh, let's try. I did manage to install NeoFetch. Uh, and it tells you a little bit about it, but I don't think that gives me any details about what cards are plugged in. No, there's nothing there, so. Okay, so I'm still trying. I did format my SD card in my Mac um, with Raspberry Pi Imager, just to try it out because it, it was a working version of Noobs and I was wondering if it didn't like it because of that. So, uh, if I click on the SD card now, uh, if I right click on it, I do get format device, which wasn't there before. It couldn't mount the SD card before because it had been written suitable for a Pi. It just seemed to be rejecting it and so it wouldn't even let me format it. Whereas my Mac with Raspberry Pi Imager allowed me to format it. So I figured I'd probably be alright then because if I click on manage Linux sharing, it, uh, it gives me an option to share it and I have managed to share it. So that's working fine. So if I go back in and try all the same things again, and you wouldn't normally have this issue of the SD card not being recognized by the Chromebook if you had a new SD card or if you'd never written an operating system to it before. And this is more about getting it uh, set up for the first time. So if I click on choose SD card, Raspberry Pi image still doesn't see it. Gnome disk also still doesn't get past that initial stage. Uh, if I go to uh, Raspi Card Imager, uh, it still doesn't find my USB stick or SD card. So none of that has worked, but I figured the other way to do it would be type in noobs Raspberry Pi for download noobs for Raspberry Pi because this is just sticking folders onto a USB stick so I can't I can't think that this wouldn't work uh, so offline and network install so you're probably more sensible to do this one because this will come with uh, some apps in it so let's download that zip and we'll save that in our downloads folder I take it I've got enough room here I'll soon find out can't be downloaded securely Right, learn more. I haven't had this issue before. Right, so have I got Firefox on here? And why not give you an option to, to override it? That is ridiculous. Right, so let's try Firefox. Firefox browser. This hasn't been the most straightforward way of doing this. I thought it was a lot easier on an Android phone. And I also plan to do this, uh, something similar on iPhone, um, but uh, I need some bits to be able to do that. Right, so installing Firefox. I did think this was going to be one of my easier videos. Okay, so there's Firefox. Opens up as if it's a mobile phone app. So, noobs. Let's just try that. Download noobs for Raspberry Pi. I don't know how easy it is to unzip things on a Chromebook. I can't remember the last time I did it. I think it's pretty standard. So download zip. Let's try that big one. Allow. Well, that's downloading. Okay, so the download should have finished by now. Let's have a look in files. Downloads. So there's the noobs zip. So we need to open that up. Just double click it, open with WinZip Archiver. And then I need to copy all of that. So let's try Control A and copy all of that to the root of the SD card. So let's just drag it into the SD card and let that copy those items. 
Okay, so that's copied over. Let's eject both of those and then pop it in the pie. Okay, so this is how it starts up. You can see it's uh, sorting out the partition and sorting out all the hard drive and everything ready for installation. It looks like, because I haven't connected the Wi-Fi yet, it looks like uh, this version comes with Raspberry Pi OS and also Kodi LibreLX. Okay, so you can see it's all worked. Uh, all I would need to do, uh, now in this instance, because my SD card is only eight gig, I can't actually install Raspberry Pi OS, the full version, because that takes six gig. So uh, at least it's proved that it's worked. So all you would do is click on that, uh, click on install, because that would light up if you had a 16 gig card or more, and then you're up and running. So then once you've got Raspberry Pi OS running, then you can install Raspberry Pi Imager and Gparted, and then you can install pretty much anything you want on Raspberry Pi. You're up and running. If you want more details on this, I'll point you over to my uh, Android setup for Raspberry Pi because it kind of goes into a bit more detail, and I actually start up with Raspberry Pi OS as well. But uh, yeah, so it is another way to get Raspberry Pi OS up and running, and in this instance, you're using uh, a Chromebook, uh, I will soon be looking at using an iPhone to set it up. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.